And then you switch over to Sonya. This this is the story structure that they've had since MK vs DCU. It's you play a chapter as one character, then you switch over to another character. Jax. I think I mentioned this in my Dead or Alive Five Let's Play because that Jax, did a similar Jax. thing, except with, with Dead or Alive, it was like it jumps around the timeline, so a, so a character doesn't dominate for a set number of matches in a row. Whereas here, that's how it works. Johnny just won four fights in a row. And spoiler alert, he never wins another fight again. Ever. Johnny Cage becomes a complete jobber in this after that amazing display. But like, what? Like, this, this is another thing. It's like suddenly Sonya's story is all about Jax. Instead of the other way around. Like instead of just coming here after, after Kano, Sonya's here to deal with to find and save Jax. They got Sub Zero here with this ice teleport because that makes a lot of sense. Now you will feel death's cold embrace. And this is the weird thing about about this. One of the weird things about this game is that it's another retcon they've come up with, where Sub Zero all of a sudden is working for Shang Tsung because you know. Apparently, apparently now he's been hired, but he's been hired uh, to, to fight for Shang Tsung. Was originally the whole idea was he'd been um, he'd, he'd actually been hired to um, assassinate Shang Tsung. Not anymore though, because MK loves its retcons. There is actually a mechanic using the super gauge where you can like do an enhanced version of, of uh, your special moves, but I never got the hang of that. Oh shit, he can do his x-ray on me. But yeah, so, so, so Sub-Zero... Sub-Zero's always kind of been in this weird situation in, in the series, where originally he was kind of a, a, a hero by default on account of the fact that he was trying to kill Shang Tsung. And so, as a result, Scorpion was by default a villain, even though neither character was in any way related to the main events going on. Sonya wins. You know? Done. We're leaving. Stand in my way and I'll kick your A challenge. <laughs> no. No. You will not be the one to challenge Shang Tsung. You like some too? Fine by me. I, okay. Round five. That's, the, that's another problem with it, with it is that the whole Raiden's plan in the future is let's send these visions to myself and then. Past Raiden has no idea what these visions mean. He has a general idea that something that, that it is a reason he's got these visions. But then I just have to raise the question of why does Raiden, the lesser god of thunder, have these in, have these incredible powers? You know, he's he's um got some amazing temporal power that's never been mentioned before. There we go. Finally. See, X-Ray. The problem is that every character... I probably should have saved that now. I think about it. I forgot it was two rounds. Yeah. It's a, kind of a, it's a, it's a problem where every single character um, in uh, with these X-Ray moves, it, they're going for way too long and everyone only has one. They also only have one victory pose. Which a lot of fan games seem to be doing now. Where it's like, oh, you only get one victory pose, maybe two. And one entrance pose. And it's really boring. It gets so repetitive. Enough of this. Yep. Enough of this shit. Shield your eyes. What? Shield your eyes. He's doing a solar flare from Dragon Ball Z. You have to love that. Shang Tsung's like, uh, uh, what's happening? Raiden could just go up to him now and, and like just stab him through the heart. You aided their escape. You allowed them to escape. They will not get far. Okay then. But yeah, as I was saying before, I've made a bunch on, of um, Mortal Kombat That's characters in Lego, and Shang Tsung is one of them. So you're in charge. Ninja goes really useful Special for it. Forces command. This is Sonya Blade. Where's that evac? Affirmative. Yeah, like, look at Jax. He's so soldier. beaten up. By order of Shang Tsung, no one leaves this island. I don't have time for and this, this begins an annoying way. trend in the story mode. Round one. Fighting two opponents at once. 
and that's where things get get tough later on. Where it's like, because even though they have tag mechanics, for some reason they never have a fight in the story mode. We actually get to play as two characters. I don't know if MKX did that, but like you have to beat both characters, and you only get the one character to to beat both of them both rounds. And it's like, why can't we do 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 some tag matches? I mean, there's even great opportunities like the part where Liu Kang and Kung Lao are traveling together. Why can't we do it there? But no. The game's like, oh, you can't do that. Like, why couldn't Jax just be like, like, yeah, I'm injured, Sonya, but come on, give me some credit. And then he, then he just gets in and helps her out. But no, they don't do that. Because that would be logical. I remember when, when the, uh, Sony had a flying kick. <laughs> I love that how they just fly off. Like, if, it, if, if that happens Sonya in the pit, like it will look like they fall off the, off the edge, which they might actually do. I don't know. I think for these matches, you, you, sh you should only have to win one round. Like, I think that'd be nice. Like maybe give them a bit more health and make it that like, you have to beat each of them once, and but they have to beat you twice, just to kind of make it fair. I mean, thank God you don't have to fight, have to fight someone alongside Shao Kahn. Because Shao Kahn's broken in this fucking game. I mean, it's kind of always been Shao Kahn's MO, just be this horribly broken bastard. But, but yeah, it's, it's just a real bitch to have to deal with Khan. Because, I, see, I get, I get the idea that fighting game bosses were made to be really hard to make people pay more money. But, you know, in a console version... Especially in a game made specifically for consoles, not an arcade version. Why the hell would that be a thing? Why would you make it that the boss is so super hard? There's no reason to do so. Because it's not like you gain ex any extra money out of it. Sure, don't need any more surprises like them. No, it's not for the developer's benefit. It's not for the player's benefit. There's no point doing it. Liar. Not saying this should be super easy. This shouldn't be broken. Kano's still here somewhere. Your obsession with him is gonna get you killed. I trusted him. Get you killed, yeah, baby. We all did. But I was the one who used. Now, the weird thing about this is that I believe MK Special Forces is still canon, here. which is a prequel to this game where Jax had the metal arms, then apparently got rid of them, then got them again later. <laughs> See, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, Shang Tsung shot it down with a fireball. No! But no. Nope. Oh, it was him. You I thought it was Kano with a rocket launcher. Kano. Huh. Never mind. <laughs> That's why I thought it was Shang Tsung, because it was Shang Tsung. <laughs> uh. Take this. I studied all your moves. God, Trevor God, I was so... There's actually uh, a curse with Kano, actually. Because like, the guy who played him in MK Legacy Season 1, he's dead as well. Just as uh, Trevor Goddard is. I think it, I think with the legacy guy it was a heart attack or something, whereas um, with Trevor Goddard it was like a drug overdose. Wins. You know, because it was the nineties. Round two, fight. Um. Uh, yeah, I, the games never actually explained how Kano lost his eye, which, um, which honestly, that would have been something cool to have in Special Forces. I think they should like redo the events of Special Forces. With uh, Sony being involved, and it's like, okay, so, so Sony and Jack's co star together as the main characters, and you see Kano lose his eye. The only explanation we've ever been given was in uh, MK uh, Legacy, where Jack punches him so hard in the head his eye flies out. And and then you have actress Jerry Ryan, who played Sony, being like, oh, yeah, it's more. It's more Gritty in real world, and it's like a guy, a man gets his eye punched out, not Same not punched so fiercely repeatedly like his eyes fucked up. It has to be removed. He just gets hit, and the eye flies out like a fucking cartoon. Kano is not your prisoner. At least help Jax. He needs a medic. And another retcon here is like that Kano was just working for Shang Tsung, even though he wasn't supposed to start working for Outworld until after MK3. When he saw an opportunity to get higher up with, with Shao Kahn. Hey, looks like you found him. What's up, Sarge? He's a. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, that, that's a major concern. Not the fact that he's been a dick. It's the fact that he's a major. Jax. Seriously, he's cool. So how does Johnny know that Raiden can heal people with lightning? And how can Raiden heal people with lightning? 
I mean, I know Infamous did it first, but it was stupid then. It's stupid now. That's amazing. It is. Told you. I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be possible. It probably should have killed you, Jax. Thank you, Raiden. Gratitude is unnecessary. <laughs> I have foreseen events, like memories of my future. They lead me to believe that you are all connected to Earthrealm's fate. What have you foreseen? In my visions, Shao Kahn becomes invincible. He destroys all life in Earthrealm. We will so, does Raiden know these visions came from himself? These flashes are a guide to defeating Shao Kahn, but disrupting the and if not, why not? Can have serious consequences. I'm not worried. I bet you can win this thing no problem. Unless directly challenged, I cannot participate. I think this is the first time I've actually explained that in the games. For now, the tournament must run its course. All right then, we're with you, Raiden. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess it makes sense. You see what Shang Tsung can do and what Sub Zero can do, so it makes sense that she's just like, yeah, I believe you. Chapter three, Scorpion. <laughs>